What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a Zacian and Lightful Rayquaza team that also features Defiant Thunderous alongside with Storm Drink Astronaut. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. We've got tons of cool content coming along the way. So like I said, hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out. But let's get started here in the top left corner, starting off with the one and only Rayquaza. Definitely a fun Pokemon to use in the rank ladder, but not the best of the restricted mods. Definitely not the best of the restricted mods, but like I just said, very, very fun to use. We got the Airlock as its ability, rocking out with a Life Orb as item, and then we got Hurricane for stab, Draco Meteor for stab, Earth Power for a coverage move, and last but not least, Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be the oh-so-powerful Zacian over here. Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword for its item and ability, and then we're rocking out with that fairly normal moveset that is just super, super strong. Play Rough, Iron Head, Secret Sword, Protect. It really doesn't get as much or better than that. Middle left is going to be the one and only Grimstrong. Grimstrong is phenomenal, and if you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit as of now, Grimstrong with the light clay and the screens is definitely my favorite set for this thing. I absolutely love it. I don't know why. I always loved it ever since I started playing. It just works. It, it just seems to work well with my play style. We got the Prankster ability. We got Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, Reflect, and Light Screen for this thing's moveset. Like I said, mwah, this moveset, just it's right up my alley. It is right up my alley. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be right next to Grimstrong, and that is going to be Defiant Thunders with that Assault Vest. I always love Defiant Thunders. It really just poses a threat to all the Intimidate Pokemon that people bring in the rank ladder. Like Pokemon like Incineroar and Landorus, they're definitely high in the usage percentage. I feel like most teams have at least one of them on it. So having a Defiant Thunders really checks off that uh, that little counter right there. So I really do like that. We got the Assault Vest as our item, like I already mentioned. Allows us to soak up some special attacking shots. And then we're rocking out with a phenomenal move set for Dynamax with a Wild Charge Fly. Foul play, and then we got Brick Break, which we can give us that attack boost. Or if we're not Dynamax, we can just break screens with that. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Intimidate Pokemon. That is going to be Incineroar. Like I said, Incineroar and Landorus, you kind of need one on every single team. They just work so well, and they're just top tier in this meta. We got the Intimidate on this one, the Citrus Berry for its item, and we got Fake Out for Flinches, Parting Shot for Pivoting and Special Attack and Physical Attack Drops. Then we got Snarl for Special Attack Drops. Last but not least, we're rocking our Heavy Stab Hitting Move, which is going to be Flare Blitz. Incineroar, just perfect for any team. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Storm Jane Gastron. And I've been really liking Storm Jane Gastron. Storm Jane Gastron is super, super good because it counters up on the Kyogre team. And most people are rocking Kyogre because it is one of the best Pokemon for Series 12. So having a Pokemon like Storm Jane Gastron really counters that up. I would say Storm Jane Gastron and Robin are probably the two best counters for Kyogre teams. So I really do like having that Pokemon. He's probably not going to come in at every single battle, but in certain situations, he's definitely top tier. We got Storm Drain as its ability, rocking leftovers for its item, and then we got a great move set of Ice Beam, Earth Power, Yawn, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try the scene for yourself, I don't even have to say it. The Rental Code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Life for Rayquaza Zacian Series 12 team. We're starting to get higher and higher in the ranked double ladder. I'm sitting at about 2,700. I think it's at 23. Something around there, but we're going up against a top 700 guy. 724, I think it said. So we got ourselves a tough battle on our hands. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and keep pushing on the rank, but it looks like it's going to be a tough one. We're going up against a Groudon and Kyogre double weather team with Gardevoir, Zapdos, Incineroar, and Mimikyu. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? He does have an Intimidate Pokemon, so we could check it with the Thunderous. I think he does lead the Zapdos all day. It's definitely scaring me. It makes you kind of want to lead the Rayquaza and just get after the battle that way, so I am going to do that. And I think I'm going to lead Screen Scrimstrong. So because Screen Scrimstrong works really, really well. Do I do that? I gotta watch out for that Gardevoir, because if I had to guess that's Choice Scarf Gardevoir all day, it's gonna be able to do some big damage on me. It's just gonna be scary all the time. So I have to watch out for that Gardevoir. Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Um, I don't think he's gonna bring the uh, Kyogre. I really do not think he's gonna bring it. So I might not even bring the Gastron. So my player. What is my player? Grimstrong could be a lead. I kind of like Grimstrong here. Brings Zacian in the back end, and then last but not least, either Incineroar or Thunderous. I just have a feeling he's not bringing Kyogre. He sees I have Storm Drink Astron. I just feel like he's going to be like, hey, I'm not bringing that. I'm not bringing it. We'll see. But uh, I think I'm just going to go Thunderous in that case. He doesn't have too many physical decks. He has a few, but like, a lot of them are special. I mean, I do have a Snarl. I probably should have brought my points in or He's really, really good. But I, I just feel like having, having my Thunderous could be good. Especially if he does bring that Kyogre. But let's rock out the, into it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in Battle Room 1. But before the battle even starts, let me know for question of the day. I kind of like this question. It is, uh, you guys think... Mythical Pokemon should be usable in ranked battles. Considering they allow a season where legendary Pokemon can be used, what about mythical Pokemon? Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. This guy ends up leading the guard. That's tough news for us. That's definitely tough news for us. Um, hmm. 
What does my player take out the Gardevoir? Take out the Gardevoir? I'm kind of with taking out the Gardevoir. I'm kind of with just taking out this Gardevoir and granting speed control. Going here, thunder waving onto that, and then going here. Yeah, I'm with that. I am with that. I'm with it all day. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. I'm with it all day. We're going to have to do that. We're definitely going to have to do that. I'm going to move my chair up just a tad bit. There we go. But yeah, we're going to have to take out this Gardevoir because Gardevoir poses that big threat. And it was really one of the Pokemons that I didn't want him leading. And of course, they let him. Every time I don't want him leading the Pokemon, it's always leading that. So I could have went in with Zacian here. Zacian would have been phenomenal been phenomenal here would have been just just thriving would have been just thriving i mean zapdos is probably rocking max flare but we can eat one of those up i'm dynamaxing he might be dynamaxing I, I would think he would be but maybe rayquaza just outspeeds at this point let's see we're dynamaxing boy right here and let's see what this dude does we're going for gleam but i feel like after a, a thunder wave that will half its speed even if it's choice scarf rayquaza should be able to outspeed and kind of just get rid of that pokemon right let's see how this one plays Let's see how this one plays. He is going to Dynamax. Yeah, see, I knew he was Dynamaxing. I just, uh, I just didn't know the speeds. Okay, so Rayquaza is faster. So if we go plus one, we'll still be faster, which is gorgeous. Well, if we both go plus one. We both go plus one. Getting the bird out there. Look at that thing, yo. Dude, Tactus is so good. Definitely one of the best Dynamax Pokemon. It just rocks a great moveset and it resists a lot of different moves. So I, I really like him. I really like him. He's going to go for a helping hand. Okay, that's a little scary. That is definitely a little scary. Let's see, let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to Thunder Wave you. Yay. And we're gonna try to take you. I thought he was gonna go for a heavy hitting move, so that's why I wanted to double down on the Thunder Waves. Just roll from there. So I can set up a screen next turn. I do like that. Unless he takes out my Grim Snarl here. We're going to an airstream. This should be able to dump on you unless he sashed. Doesn't even doesn't even KO. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. Should I set up a screen? I might set up the screen here. We got the speed boost. Let's see what uh, my boy's going for here. What is my boy's app going for? Another airstream. Probably going into my Grim Snarl, right? Yeah, Grim Snarl, eat this. Let's go. Let's go, Grim Snarl. That's a huge eat. Okay, so that's a big time eat. Um from here. I could just go for a worm one. He's gonna go for uh, grant the speed boost. Oh, what's my player? I think I should definitely start setting up screens. Uh, light screen prior call, right? Light screen or reflect? Well, this one's tough. I know that Zapdos is physical. Oh no, or special attacking. It's rocking the special attacking moves. It always is. Um, light screen could do us good right now. But reflect could do us better in the back end. It's tough. It's really tough here. Uh. What do I do here? I think I might just max quick and get the special defense boost. Take out you. And set up a screen. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I don't mind uh, taking out this guard board for a little bit of HP. He's probably going for another helping hand. Yeah. So helping hand's going to come out here. And I wonder what he's going to do. Is he going to go after... Who's he going after here? Who is he going after here? Is he going after Rayquaza? I'm really curious who he's going after. Maybe he's going after Grimstar. We're going to go for his max quick here. And then I'll probably airstream next turn. But I really want this special defense boost. Just to bulk us up a little bit. So we're going to take you out. Get that special defense boost. Get a little bit of bulkiness into us. I am digging that. I am definitely digging that. And then I think uh, if he doesn't take out Grimstar here, we set up another screen next turn. If I get off the reflect and light screen, we'd be sitting in such a good spot. Just start soaking up damage left and right. Let's see what he goes for here. He's going to go for the rock fall. And that's going after Rayquaza, isn't it? A rock fall. Or is that going after Grimmy? It is going after him. Okay, so we're able to soak that up. Thank you very much. And uh, Grimstar should be able to survive this Buffet shot. So we're, I can set up a Reflect next turn, which is wonderful. Right? The Buffet shouldn't do too much. Unless he brings out Incineroar. Unless he brings out Incineroar. And then in that case, I just Quake into him. Let's see what he does. Is it going to be Incineroar? It's going to be Mimis. So Mimikyu is going to poke out here. Uh, I'm cool with that. Mimikyu is going to fly here. And uh, I kind of just want to get this physical attack drop onto it. Right? Because what could he do? He can burn me. He can kind of just go from there. But I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to set up... Actually, I think Airstream could be a little bit better here. Do you think Airstream could be a little bit better here? Airstream could be good. Just for a speed boost, but nah. I'm going to go for this attack boost. I'm just going to go here. And I'm just going to set up this reflect here. Right? I did Light Screen last turn. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I did Light Screen last turn. Yeah, we did Light Screen last turn. Look at that. Eight turns. God dang. That is beautiful. That is just gorgeous. So, we'll set up a reflect this turn. And we're just going to start bulking out our Pokemon. Get our Pokemon bulking up. Reflect poking out here. Yeah, eat. And we'll get ripping. We shall get ripping. Reflect coming out here. And what's this thing going for? Shadow Sneak. Beautiful. That's fine. He can waste a turn like that. He can waste a turn. Grip Snarl goes down. He ends up getting off. Oh, wow. We survive on one. <laughs> we survive on one. But all I needed Grim Snarl was for was for a nice little Thunder Wave onto that uh, Pokemon. And we got off our screen. So Grim Snarl did its work. Like I said, I always play good with Grim Snarl. Well, this set of Grim Snarl. Screens Grim Snarl, I always thrive. 
I always silence. We get a big old attack drop right here onto that Mimikyu's good physical attacker. And then this thing's just gonna drop a lightning and go after my Rayquaza, which uh, Rayquaza should be fast on the field. Yeah, he didn't go for any airstream, so that's really, really beneficial for us. We got screens up. We're bulking up a little bit. I'm loving it. Now I can just start uh, sending Draco Meteors, which I think that's gonna be my play. I think that's 100% gonna be my play. Send that lovely little Draco Meteor. Get rolling from there. I'm with it. Nice little Draco. Let's see what he does. Why aren't we? I'm confused. Why aren't we taking Buffets? Is that the terrain? Sometimes I forget things. Is that the terrain? Oh, no. I have Airlock. That's why. Airlock clutching up, dude. Airlock clutching up. I love it. But, yo, look at everything going on in the field right now. Sandstorm, electric terrain, Airlock's out and about, Reflex, Light Screen. Woo! We love it. We love it. But from here, I 100% got to drop a Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor's got to come out here, and we got to go for a Spirit Break to see if we can just, like, knock off this little disguise here. Draco Meteor comes out. No. 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 We missed our Draco Meteor out my face. We eat, though. Thank you, Airlock. Spirit Break coming through here. Airlock keeps that normal. The Spirit Break coming out here. I'm surprised he didn't go for a Shadow Sneak. I'm really surprised he didn't go for a Shadow Sneak. Let's see what he does. We drop his disguise. It's really, really good. But, dude, how we miss our Draco Meteor? We miss our Draco Meteor, which is whack. Trick Room's popping. You son of a biscuit. Okay, so Trick Room's out and about. Uh, hmm. What's my player? What is my player? We definitely want to go for another Draco Meteor. And I could just Thunder Wave you. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paralyze that thing. Even though it is gonna be, it, even though it is Trick Room, I'd rather just have that paralyze and get that chance to just like do that thing. But he drops Shadow Sneak regardless. So Shadow Sneak's gonna take us out. That's totally fine. Can we eat up this next shot? Eat up this next shot, Rayquaza. So you got that special defense boost. We got the screens out and about. And that thing shows its orb. Ancient power come through. Can we eat that? Eat that up all day. All day. I love you, Rayquaza. I love you! Now land this meteor. Land this Trick Room. And of course he gets the stat boost. That is nuts. What luck of the RNG. The RNG is definitely in his favor. Draco Meteor connects. Can we KO with this? He has plus one on special defense, but still. Still, nice damage here. Let's get it. Let's get it. We do not take it out. That's rough news. So he's just going to Shadow Sneak me. That's fine. Shadow Sneak. Oh, we go down Life Orb. That's even better, because I'd rather have my two Pokemon out on the field. So we're going to be able to bring out our lovely little Thunderous. Buffets are going to start flying, and that's actually a perfect time for Buffets to start flying. Can that take him out? I don't think it will. Super close. Super close. We have Zassian here. We have our Thunderous. Uh, let's go for your player. This battle's going to be so close. This battle's so close. Like I said, we have screens up. We can pick up easy double kill here. I don't see him taking me out in one shot unless he doubles down into me. I think we're thriving. I think we are thriving here. We might have Willowis ready to rock, but I think we have to double down. I mean, Buffets will take out that Zapdos, so... I mean, wait. Let's see how many turns are left for Buffets. It, it won't, because it's ending next turn. It is ending next turn. Reflex and Light Screen still out. Really good for us, yo. What a battle. So, I'm going to actually just go into a Behemoth Blade here. Take you out, and then just, uh... I don't even think Foul... Or... Uh, wild Charge is the play. I just think Foul Play is going to be the play. Better accuracy. We take no recoil damage. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's just going to withdraw all the Zapdos. I'm fine with that. Go into a physical. Go in the ground on. Go in the ground on. Go in the ground on. Oh, we love it. Foul Play was the call. Foul Play was the call all day. Drats can come here, change the weather up a little bit. He can go for blades whenever he wants. Maybe he thinks, thinks I was protecting that turn. He goes for a play rough. We're going to be able to soak that up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He's going to take recoil. And uh, that play's going to fly. Uh, right. We're going to get off some damage on that. Not bad. Not bad. I wish I would have did a little bit more. But Behemoth Blade is going to take out the Mimikyu. And uh, what do we go from here? What do we do from here? What do we do from here? Because we take you out all day. Uh, This one's going to be close. We are going to cut it so close. This is going to be such a good battle. Such a good battle. We take out Mimikyu. Um, right now, his Groudon does outspeed or Zassian and Trick Room. So I could protect my boy here and just take out the Zapdos. Is that my play? Protect you. Take out Zapdos. And then chain, make it a two, two on one. Go for Brick Breaks. Foul play is not bad. Uh, I think we just foul play you. Finish you off. Wow, this one's going to be coming close. It's going to be coming to close. Mm. He's going to have to make a read here. If he, if he reads this protect, he wins this game automatically. It's still going to be close if, uh, if he doesn't read it. Wow, yo. What a first battle, yo. That's why I love playing high up in the match here. So good. We're getting some good battles for you guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content. Like I said, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button down below. Just smash it. Just click it real quick. Even if you don't enjoy the content, why did you stay this long if you're not liking up the video? <laughs> we protect our Zacian. He goes for the blades. Beautiful. Beautiful. We block that. We dodge it with... Uh, 
for thunders and what is he going for weather ball okay cool he's doubling down on my sassy so huge protect from us bat boy's gonna fly through here. we're gonna take out the zap we're gonna change this to a two on one a lovely little two on one so what's our play here our play here is just start ripping up into that uh into that ground on we're full hp i think he has one more turn left in jerk room i don't think i want to force the double protect i feel like maybe just maybe we can eat up the blades i feel like there's a chance that we can just eat up the blades. so you know what? i'm just gonna go for the behemoth blade and then i'm just gonna rock into the foul play foul play is probably your best one right yeah see how much damage we can do onto that let's go eat up these blades oh he just cancels battle yo let's go winning up in that high rank master tier I'm surprised our opponent actually canceled that battle at the end there. I feel like he still had a shot. If Blades would have taken out my Sassian, we would have definitely struggled with our uh, Thunders to take him out. But we take those wins all day. We definitely take those wins all day. We're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Zassian and Kieran White team. Probably Life Orb Kieran White if I had to guess. Alongside with Amoongus, Ditto, Grimmsnarl, and then Indeedee. So his two main focus is going to be that uh, that Zassian and the, uh, the Kieran. Those are going to be his two big attackers. So I feel like Zassian could be a good lead for us. I might want to lead him. And I might want to also go into Grimstone. I think I want to lead Grimstone. Grimstone is just a solid lead with Thunder Waves, all that good stuff. I might lead Zassian here as well. Just get rolling with that. And then I definitely want to bring Rayquaza. And then last but not least, uh, did we get Thunders or Incineroar? I'm kind of leaning more towards Incineroar at this point. I'm with it. I am with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. In battle number two, dude, I've been loving Sword and Shield now that I'm higher up in the rank ladder. We just jumped from, uh, what I say we were at? Low 2000s, we're like mid 2000s now, which is solid. 2400 something? Solid, 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 solid. My highest I've ever been, I hit, I think I hit top 500 like once. That was a while. That is when like I was the only one playing this game. It's like when it first came out. <laughs> it's like when it first came out. We're going to bring out Zassian alongside with uh, Grimstone, and that's going to be tough for us right here. That's going to be tough because, uh, okay, so he can follow me this. He can do a lot of different things. Uh, And then the surge is going to come out here as well. So what do we do? We could just set up the screens. We could definitely set up the screens. Is my boy physical or special? I'm trying to think of the moves that he usually does. I think he's special. I think he is special. So you know what? We might just go into this. Uh, we might just go into this light screen here. Light screen could be the play. Dude, we have so many super effective moves on that thing. He might just swap it or he might just follow me the shots. Right? I'm just going to go into a blade here. Over on to you. If he follow me, he follow me. It, but let's see what his play is. Good Dynamax and just follow me. Yeah, he's gonna Dynamax here. Dynamax gonna fly out here. I'm, I'm chilling with that. I am cool with that. I don't worry about it. He's probably rocking a Quake move, which is fine. If he, if he wants to waste two turns of Dynamax, just kill my Zassian. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I could always hard swap it, but I know he's going for the Quake and just swap it to Rayquaza. It definitely be a play. See what he wants to rock out with here. Follow me to come out here, obviously. And we're set up the screen. Okay. I'm fine with that. Follow me poking. Light screen popping. Yeah. Send it over there. And we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see what he wants to do. So we knew the follow me was coming here. Behemoth Blade's going to fly. Should be able to get off some big damage. I'm hoping we KO, but, you know, indeedies are, are typically bulky. So we go for this. Yeah. Kill it. Oh, so close. So close, man. So close. He goes for Steel Spike. That's cool. Maybe he thought I was protecting. I'll take that all day. And we eat. And we eat. You love to see it. Okay, you love to see it. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to do. Now I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to do. If I had to guess, he's probably just going to follow me and go after my Zassian. So in this case, you know, I'm just going to take out you. And I'm just going to protect you. Because he has to be coming after Zassian at this point, trying to get off some damage while he can. So let's just protect him this turn and have my Grimstar take him out. And then I can go freely for a Behemoth Blade because he will outspeed. That's beautiful. So protect coming out from his Zassian. Is he going for the follow me? That's the real question. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Follow me coming out here? He does. Call this all day. I I'm reading this dude like a book. Inside out. Inside out, baby. He's going to go for a steel spike. Do not double down in the Grimstone. You son of a biscuit. He did do it. We did not read this guy like a book. Nice little play by him. I'll give it to him. Uh, okay. Uh, defense is bulking up. Defense is definitely bulking up. Uh, ch 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 What's my play from here? What is my play from here? We cannot come in here and just pop a fake out. Because he has the surge. I think Rayquaza going into him and Dynamaxing. And maybe guarding. Who's faster? That's the real question. Who is faster? 161 speed. 220. Okay, I, we might have to guard you. We might have to guard you, Rayquaza. And I think I might guard Rayquaza. And just get off a... Uh, 
I just go from there. I could protect him, but I, I feel like Max Guard's gonna be your play. And just chopping the blades. I'm cool with that. But this Dynamax turn ends after that. I'd rather just protect that Rayquaza and go from there. Maybe he'll go for a Worm Wind in that slot. Trying to get that attack drop as well. I mean, that's definitely very, very, uh... It's very persuasive. Like, if I was him, I'd be like, dude, that's a... You get a lot of value out of that Worm Wind. It's super effective on the Rayquaza. Plus, should we get the attack drop onto the Zassian? But we Dynamax your boy. We're hoping that he's just, like, going for an Ice Move. Something along those lines into me. And we can just finish off this, uh... This indeed if he goes for follow me. So we'll see his turn. Does it follow me again? Yeah. Follow me is coming out all day. So we guard up. Uh, Zassi's going to take out indeed which is cool. Then we're going to go from here. I'm hoping that my boy can actually outspeed his, uh, his Kirim. We're going we're gonna to drop you with this. Dude, if we would have, if I would have just went for a spirit break turn one, that would have been great. But the reflect kit definitely kept us alive. We're not the reflect, the light screen turn one. Really good for us. He goes for the Hailstorm. Cool. He goes for the Rayquaza. Bang. We block it and we waste out his Dynamax turn. So, solid protects from us. Uh, it really depends who he's going to go into from here. And I'm hoping my boy can actually outspeed. Because if he can, we can potentially take him out with a shot. Zassian's going to poke out here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. I am fine with that. Alright. We do not have Reflect, but yeah. Like I said, I'm fine with that. Uh, could go into yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna worm one here i'm just gonna hard swap my assassin to my Sinor. that's gonna be my play all day all day long i don't think he takes me out with a behemoth blade especially minus one i mean yeah, we're, 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 we're fine we should be fine here intimidate poking out here as long as we're, i think rayquaza should be able to outspeed that Zassian, which should be great should be great for us let's see what happens here he's gonna imprison what's he imprisoning i'm confused with what he's imprisoning what move are you imprisoning? Oh, he's trying to imprison my Zassian. Okay, so great swap for us. We go into a worm win. We say, hey, yo, get out of here. So that was huge. He imprisoned himself. Or he, he just wasted a turn there. He wasted a turn. And we got him now minus one. That's huge. He tried imprisoning my Zassian. Because he probably has a weird moveset. Uh, that's cool. That, 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 was, that was cool. This guy was trying. This guy was definitely trying. But now we're going to be able to uh, take you out. I could fake out the Zassian, and I'm just going to go for a uh, Airstream over on the Ditto, just so my team could start taking speed advantage. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Or I can go into a Quake. I could go into a Quake. Quake could be good. Quake could definitely be good. Quake could definitely be good, but we're going to go for the Airstream. We're going to rock it out over there, and then I'm just going to fake out you. It's going to play all day. All day long. Yo, we are thriving. Yo, we have, Dude, I've been doing so good. So good. Playing some good swaps, making some good reads with the protects. Like, I feel like learning to swap your Pokemon better and learning to protect when necessary is really good. I feel like that is top tier. It definitely elevates your game. It takes it to another level. We're going to fake out here. And oh my god, I forgot the terrain was out. I forgot terrain was out. That's something I should remember too. <laughs> That's something I should remember too, but it's all good. We're soaking up. We have screens up. We have that thing minus two. Airstream's going to come out here. Wow. The dead. Was that a crit? That was a crit. Okay, I was going to say, that would have been OP damage without a crit. We take that all day. We take that all day. We finish off the Incinder War like that. Like nothing. Like nothing. Get rid of him. Yo, Rayquaza. Really strong, dude. Really, really strong when used right. I forgot about the terrain, man. It's just been too long. It was just hanging out there too long. Terrain finally ends. That's cool. You guys know I'm, I'm good for missing or uh, forgetting about terrains every once in a while. Every once in a while, I'm good for that. We can go into EP here, and I'm just going to drop a Flare Blitz to just constantly get off damage here. Constantly get off some damage. Earth Power's fine through it. Oh, send it. Wheel. Big old half damage. Flare Blitz going to come out here. He's dead. He is dead, and there it is, yo. 2 and 0. Oh. Unless he takes me out with the Sacred Sword. I don't think he will. He's soaking up. We got that thing minus 1. We got a minus 1 by going into Intimidate and getting off that huge max 1 one. Beautiful. Our Citrus Berry poking. Flare Blitz is flying through. That's GG's 2-0 and oh with this amazing Ray Causes team. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Now we can hop into our third and look for a perfect record for the Jeans online gaming community, baby. Let's get it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it into the top 2,000 in the Master Two. We're sitting at 1,980 a spot. Hopefully, we can boost it up and grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a uh, b -b -b Shadow Rider Calyrex and Zassian team with G-Max Blastoids, Zapdos, Robum, and Incineroar. So, heavy, heavy meta. 
definitely very tough to uh, go up against. But I'm actually proud of myself for pushing this Highland Master. It's not like I'm just using one team and learning it, like mastering it and going from there. I've been using thousands of teams, dude. I switch a team every single day. Every single day. I'm never using the same team to push the Master, which is absolutely hilarious. And I just love doing it this way. But uh, who should we go into this one? How should we lead it? I feel like that Zassian's... Or not Zassian. That uh, Calyrex is definitely going to be scary. But I could definitely see him leading uh, the, uh, the Zapdos. That stinks. We're not going to be bringing in Gastron, which is weird. Like, we see Kyogre's every time... We play, but now that we bring Storm Drain Gash down, we don't see one Kyogre. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. But uh, we have 20 seconds to pick, and I'm struggling here. Grimstar is obviously a solid choice here. Solid choice all around. I really do like that. I don't feel like leading that uh, Thunderous. I don't feel like leading that Thunderous. I could go into Rayquaza. We're going to Zacian. Zacian ain't too shabby here. I'm going to go into Rayquaza. Zacian, and I think I'm just going to bring Defiant Thunderous in the back end. Actually, no. We're gonna bring Incineroar. We got two seconds to pick. Lock it in. Lock it in. We got it. Last second. <laughs> Last second we locked it in. Incineroar just looked too good. He has Zassian on field. We have Snarl. We can party shot. We kind of just get after the battle that way. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We're gonna have to Dynamax our uh, our Rayquaza right off the bat. Though. Probably, right? Yeah. Because in Incineroar, not too great Dynamax. Grim Snarl, we're definitely not Dynamax. Zassian, we can't even Dynamax. So he's gonna go Blast Rage Robin, which, oh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So he can fake me out. He can go for glides. Uh, he might fake me out this turn. I can definitely see it happening. And then from here, I'm just going to airstream boost us. Go straight into that roll boom. Really, really boom. Going right after. I'm going to try to set up a screen. I'm going to try to set up this light screen just for that Blastoids because he's kind of annoying. And actually, I'm going to try to paralyze that Blastoids. Actually, is it worth paralyzing right now? I think it's better off to get off with light screen if we can. And then just go Dynamax into the airstream to take out the Robin. Run it. Run it up. He might hard swap. Yep, there's hard swap. He's going to hard swap into Zassian or Incineroar. Zassian comes out. There it is. All right, that's cool. We pose a nice little threat. We pose a nice little threat. I'm with it all day. I'll take this speed boost. Speed boost is definitely going to be good for us. And I can set up this free light screen. So no fake out coming out here. We're setting up light screen. He could be shell smashing, which could be scary. But in that case, I'll just start sending paralyzes left and right and getting after the battle that way. I'm cool with that. I am 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 cool with that. But, yo, it's funny. We In the beginning of our uh, video with the team preview, we were, we were like, oh, Rayquaza, not too good. He's not the best. But, dude, he's doing phenomenal. <laughs> he's doing so good today. He's doing so good. He's Dynamax. Oh, that's Blastoise. I thought he had Grimstrong. Hold up. <laughs> I have Grimstrong. He's Dynamax and Blastoise. I'm cool with that. We're setting up a nice, lovely light screen. I could just Thunder Wave it next turn. Or I could just start sending Spirit Breaks. Woo! We could get the spirit breaks rolling. Spirit breaks could be good. Could definitely be good for us. We could be going for an ice move as well. But again, we have the light screen out. So light screen is definitely a solid, solid call. A great call for us. So we light screen up. We're going to go first. We're going to get this nice little airstream boost here. Get the speed boost rolling. We're going to get after battle that way. So not bad damage. A quake will be able to finish that off. And grant us a special defense boost. So it's definitely... I definitely like the way that looks right. I definitely like the special defense boost here. He's going to go for the Hailstorm. That's fine. We soaked that up all day. We have Light Screen out and about. It's okay. So big old soaks for us. Uh, What do I do here? What's my play? What is my play? We have multiple different plays. I really want to go into the Quake. I really, really want to go into the Quake. But does my boy outspeed him? Because, like, look. Look at our Zassian. Our Zassian is 220. 161. I'm trying to do the math in my head. We should be, able to, that should, that should be able to outspeed. Okay, so we should be able to outspeed and go there. And then I just want to go for a nice lovely spirit break here. Or I can thunder wave you. No, I'm going to spirit break you. I'm going to go for his quake. I just want that uh, special attack drops. Hopefully it doesn't protect Zassian. He withdraws his Zassian. What do you think I'm going for? He's going to go back. Oh, yo. Nice nice swap, yo. This boy's swapping good. Dude, swapping good. Next week's going to come out. We are going to get a special defense boost, which could really do us good. We might be able to eat up another hailstorm. And this would be beautiful. If we could eat up another hailstorm here, I would really like this turn. I would really like this turn. Because we have that special defense boost. Spirit Break should come out first. Yep. Now he's a uh, minus one on special attack. That is solid for us. And we know he's just going to probably grass the guy next turn. But again, if we can waste out turns like that. Come on, yo. Eat this up. Eat this up all day, baby. Eat this up. You got it. In a bag. No, we don't, dude. I thought we were going to be able to eat it up. It's crit. Come on, man. What you mean? What you mean? Gets a crit. Gets a crit. Come on. Come on. I, I thought we were going to be able to eat that up. Without a crit, I think we would have. I really do. I really do think we would have. 
The Muffets are flying out here. He has one more turn left in Dynamax. Uh, from here, Yasin could fly. Yasin can indeed fly out here. Or we can bring out our Cinnamon, but no, I think Yasin's gonna have to fly here. We're gonna have to get Kogan with him. I could protect him. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna protect him and uh, set up a reflect here, right? Do I set up the reflect? Hmm. Or I can just start, you know, doing this. We don't, we don't need right now, though. We, we don't need it. I think we just set up the reflect here. We just protect. Reflect, protect. He's definitely going to go for it. He's, he's, he's sending the G-Max Canyonade. He wants a Canyonade damage out, so I'm just going to protect. It's definitely going into Zassi, in my opinion. But the Canyonade damage is coming out here. Fake out's coming here, at too. So good old block for us. We get that block. And we're going to be able to set up the reflect. So, not a bad turn. I kind of dig it. But the canyon need damage is definitely going to start slowly chipping out onto me. And doing work. Definitely going to start doing work. So, he goes for the canyon need. There it is. Is, is it in Zacian? It is in Zacian. We soak, but the canyon need damage is just going to be in full effect. It's too good. It is way too good. Okay, so. We get caught in the vortex. What do we do from here? We could hard swap the Blastoids. We have screen set up. But we're going to have to. We're going to definitely behemoth blade into the Blastoids slot. It's our play all day. To play all day, but look at this damage coming out here. It hurts. It hurts the soul right there. It definitely hurts the soul. It hurts the soul all day. Ouch, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Doing too much damage to me. Way too much damage. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to Behemoth Blade into... Who do I Behemoth? Or I might just go into play rough into Blastoids at this point. Because his Dynamax is over. He sells four Pokemon. You guys know we can't get swept. We cannot get swept. I'm surprised he took out my god dang Rayquaza there. Uh, we have screen set up. I could go for Thunder Waves, but Race God's just going to be the one flying. I still kind of want to paralyze you. I'm going to do that. I'm going to paralyze you. I could just go for the Blade. But I think Playoff's going to be a little bit better here. Right over to Blastoids. Because Blastoids, I want him dead. I want him dead. Thunder Waves going to poke here. We're going to paralyze you. Send it on him. He might be going for a Grass God. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll throw a paralyze. Maybe steal a few turns here. Let's not go for the grass, guys. Probably going for the high horsepower. Player off comes out here, and we do not take you out, you son of a biscuit. He goes for the yawn. He's yawning on me. How dare you? How dare you? So I could hard swap here. I'll be my play. High horsepower flying through it. Yeah, eat. Right into Zassian. Zassian's able to eat. Uh, I might hard swap him. I'm thinking of hard swapping him. Buff has come out, and oh, I must take him out. I must take out the blast wings. I almost take out the blast. It's canyon eat damage. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, yeah, there's no point in swapping Zassy in here. No point. Probably going for the glide, right? Probably going for the glide. I'm just gonna have to spirit break there. I could actually protect. But then then does canyon eat damage take me out? Hmm. I think canyon eat damage and the buffets would take me out. So you know I'm just gonna go here. Probably gliding, and I'm just gonna go for a blade if we can land it. But we're not getting swept, yo. We're not getting swept. I'll tell you that that much. I'll tell you that much. Battle definitely would have been so much closer, so much closer if my what's it called? Oh, we ate. Wow, that's actually a beautiful eat there. It's actually gonna it might be close now. He even played flying. This could KO, but it would have been definitely been so much closer if he didn't get a crit there. Like I said, I think my request was eating that up. But he even played flies. It's a big time KO. It's a big time KO. So we get a KO there. My Zassy's gonna die here. And his blast is gonna die here, so we're not getting swept, and we still have instant war in the back. It's gonna be close, but I don't, I don't think we, I don't think we have enough mustard and tank here. I do not think hail stops, can any damage still going to tee off on me? Just so good, it's so good. There was just no way of dodging it. How much damage that did overall? It did so much overall. Grimstar is gonna take some shots here too. Mm. Oh, dude, leave me alone! Look how much damage that did my Grimstar so far. Almost half. That's half with healing. In between from the grass stream. Grass disappears finally. He has Zacian and who else does he have? I don't think I don't think he showed his fourth Pokemon just yet. I don't think he showed his fourth Pokemon just yet. Boom 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 do 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 Calyrex. Ah <laughs> that thing's that thing's scary. Definitely scary. So he brings out probably two of the best Pokemon out there right now. Uh we have fake out Raider Roll. Uh obviously we can just fake out on him. But you know what? I might have to read a protect here. That might be like my only play. Right? That might be my only play. That might be my only play is to read a protect. He's got to think we're faking out. He's got to protect. Right? 
It's my only way of winning this. He's doing this. Actually, we can go here. And just snarl. I'm with it all day. Pizzazzium, protect you. Protect you. We, we have fake out. We can't fake out the Calyrex. He has to think we're faking out him. Let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. He needs to make his plays here. Thunder Wave coming out here. Yeah. Send it that way. I think Calyrex still might be able to outspeed me, but it has a chance of missing a turn, which is awesome. Let's see. Yes. 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 Snarl flying through here. Snarl flying through here. This could do some decent damage. Should do at least half of that. And give it minus one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do I have screen set up? Candy and damage. God dang it, dude. I hate candy and damage. So, I might have to paralyze that Zassy. Man. Zassy could be a good paralyze here. Definitely be a good paralyze. Uh, let's see how many turns is left. Well, we do have Reflect and Lich Queen now. Okay, so that's a beautiful turn. Thunder coming out here. Thunder Wave. Uh, we could Flare Blitz. Do we think Snarl? Dude, that's going to be kind of close. I'm going to Snarl again. I'd go for it. I'd go for it, dude. That's tough that that Calyrex still outspeeds me. <laughs> I know Zassium won't, but Calyrex will. Wow, this is going to be super close. Zassium goes for another Protect. He goes for another... Pro no way he just did that. He goes for another Protect. That is awesome. That is awesome. This thing goes for an Astro Barrage. Yo, Incineroar, eat this up. Incineroar, eat this up and then take him out. Both of you guys actually eat this up. We got screens. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I knew we were going to eat that up, but I just had to say that. Take him out. Close. Okay, we do not take him out, but still. Oh, my lord. That is... Dude, did we just do this? Did we just pull this off? Am Why am I doing so good? I Dude, I've been just completely dominating in, in Sword and Shield. I can't believe we went for an Astro Barrage, and I can't believe we went for a Protect. Spirit Break comes through. Oh, dude, that's game over. We just won. We just won this battle. How? I don't know, but we did it. Grimstraw and Incineroar just take out a Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and a Zassy. No problem. He gets paralyzed again. Flare Blitz fine. I think Flare Blitz takes him out. I think it does. But if it doesn't, we outspeed. Which is good. Yep, takes him out. Oh my lord. We just did that. 3 0 for a perfect record. Your boy has just been going crazy. I honestly didn't think I was going to do this good with this team today. Grabbed ourselves a perfect record, and we are now sitting at top 1500 in the world in Sword and Shield ranked all battles, which is absolutely amazing. This is the highest I've been in a while because I don't really play this game on my free time too much anymore. I kind of just play it recording. So. It feels good. It definitely feels good to be that high. I've been playing super, super well. Been getting better and better every single day. Still some things I would like to clean up on, but we're doing good. We're definitely doing good. But guys, there it is. 3-0 with this team. Gotta love it, yo. Rayquaza's ass team definitely rocked out there. We got to use Thunders, Grimstarl, and Incineroar a little bit. And then we didn't even touch up on Storm Dragon Gastron because we didn't have any chance to go up against it. Most of the time, every or every time, I should say, we play a Sword and Shield, we're going up against Kyogre teams. But of course, today, when we want to go up against Kyogre teams, we do not. We just don't see any of them. But it's all good. We got to show up the team to its fullest potential and win every single match. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.